While Democrats in Trenton move to make gay marriage the law, some Republicans are following Governor Christie's call to let the voters decide in a referendum. Joining us now, the sponsor of a bill to do just that, Senator Kip Bateman. Senator, good of you to join us. Uh, the Democrats say that this bill won't go anywhere. Why introduce it? Well, first of all, I think time will tell on that. I mean, the governor has been very clear that he will not sign the legislation. In fact, he will veto it. So if they're really concerned about marriage equality, then they'll take a, after the governor vetoes this bill, they'll take a harder look at it. And I hope that they'll, they'll see that that's the best chance for uh, the issue to become law. Do you support the idea of, of what the Democrats call marriage equality? Oh, there's no question we need marriage equality, but I also think that an issue of this importance should be decided by all the voters. Uh, uh, um, I think everybody should have an opportunity to weigh in on it. Uh, it's a very important issue. Um, the Senate, well, know, the Senate it, did vote today, sir. On, how, how did you vote? I'm sorry. I voted no. I voted no because I want to see the, uh, I would like to have my issue, uh, uh, I would like to see the resolution pass the Senate and then the assembly and have the, the issue placed on the ballot this November. Uh, and on, I think it's an important year because uh, it's sorry, a sir, presidential on, on, year. Uh, uh, sorry, there's a little cross talk there and I apologize for that. On the face of it then, it appears that this is, this is a concept you're opposed to and, and you're hoping that the referendum, if it should come to the point where it's passed and it gets to the voters, would give the voters a chance to reject the concept. Is that correct? Well, no, because mine is drafted specifically in the affirmative to allow same-sex marriages in New Jersey. I, I, the language is very similar to what they have in Maine right now. The state of Maine has it up on uh, the ballot this November. The marriage equality advocates are in favor of that language in Maine, so I don't see why they wouldn't support mine in New Jersey. It if, gives them an opportunity to allow everyone to vote on the issue. If, if your uh, concept makes it onto the ballot, would you vote yes or no? Well, that's obviously, uh, that's between, I would be in the, uh, in, in the privacy of the voting booth, but I suspect that... Uh, you know, I, I would be leaning towards supporting it. I think that you know, I, I voted for civil unions because there's no question everyone should be treated equally. And I thought that would that would accomplish it. But we've heard some stories where that's not happening. So we need to either strengthen the civil union law or have the voters have an opportunity to pass this. Well, how, I mean, how, how far along would you take it, sir? And I, once again, I apologize for the crosstalk. I think we have a little sound lag going on here. But I mean, are we talking here that you could find any way and your colleagues could find any way to support the concept of marriage equality or gay marriage or whatever you want to call it? Or would you always want a, a, what some would call a two-tiered system where, where the civil union law simply is strengthened to allow more, more rights? Well, well, whatever best means of achieving equality would be. I, I could support it if everyone's equal. There's no question about that. The, the problem is the governor has said he's going to veto this bill. So, you know, my, my interest is to see that, you know, we, we, we finalize the issue once and for all. And if the best way to do that is put on the ballot, then let, let everybody weigh in. And the polls I've seen, uh, the majority of New Jersey is in favor, favor the concept. So why not allow them to have the opportunity? No one's going to be disenfranchised. Everybody's going to have an opportunity to go into that ballot box and vote. And I think that that's important. What? This issue, extremely important. I mean, you know, you've had the concept of marriage for over 2,000 years. Let people weigh in on it. What do you say, though, to those who say that this is essentially a civil rights issue and that the idea of voting on, on civil rights or having a majority rule on civil rights uh, is kind of almost paradoxical, given that the Bill of Rights, essentially, where it protects people from what others might call the tyranny of the majority. Well, in the, in the past we've done it. Under the 1947 Constitution, Constitutional Convention in New Jersey, uh, that was after the convention it was placed on the ballot, and the New Jerseyans had an opportunity to vote for it. A lot of the rights that we have right now in New Jersey were derived from the Constitutional com uh, Convention in 1947, which the voters approved. So, you know, there is a precedent set, and I think that it's such an important issue that, again, I think everybody should have an opportunity to weigh in, and everybody should be treated equally. So th the problem is the path it's on right now, it's not going to go anywhere. So why not, if you're really interested in equality, which I am, why not go the best path for, for passage? And I think that's my, my suggestion. I guess the question then would become, why didn't you vote for it then? I mean, I mean you could have if you wanted the equality. Why didn't you, you could have voted well, for it today. Yeah, I could have, but my, uh, it, was, it received 24 votes. So obviously, it's not enough there right now for the override. But, you know, I also, you know, I, I don't talk about it, but I have a very strong faith. Uh, my church happens to be against the concept, and, you know, I attend on a regular basis. And, you know, today I wasn't uh, ready to, to vote for it. I want to see, um, I want the, the voters to have an opportunity to weigh in on this very important issue. Senator, have to leave it there. Appreciate you taking the time to share your thoughts with us.
Mike, thank you very much.